chimney three times a day I eat ass. Dude. Yeah. Two things. One, Dick Van Dyke's name shouldn't be said on children's programming. Why? Two. Uh, Wait, did Dick he, what did Dick Van Dyke do? I thought he got a lifetime achievement award. What? It, I thought Dick Van Dyke was a good guy. No, I'm just saying, he has the worst Cockney accent. Oi! I'm Dick Van Dyke! I'm Dick Van Dyke! He's a I, chum in a swipe. I'm gonna let me need a chimney and swipe. Oi! I'm gonna listen to my song when my father's a tweet me nose and betwixt the end of the... Oi! What you do me a favor and please rub your chimney sweep up and down me knob? <laughs> <laughs> you say my knob. <laughs> yeah, it's like Dick Van. It's like Dick Van Dyke trying to be hot. Like Dick Van. Okay, imagine this. You get called up on the phone. It's Dick Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke says, "Oi, I'll give you thirty dollars for fifteen minutes." And you're like, "What does that mean?" He's like, "I want you to tell me what you're wearing." And he's like, and you're like, "Oh, oh, what's what's going on here?" Dick Van Dyke wants to have phone sex with me, and of course, you, of course, you say yes. And so then. <laughs> He says to you, Big Van Dyke says to you, he's like, Oi, what are you wearing? And you're like, uh, white polo, khaki shorts. And he says, Oi, could you take off your socks? And you're like, yeah, I'll take off my socks. And then Dick Van Dyke says, What else are you wearing? And then he's, uh, you say nothing because you've already gotten fully naked after hearing the sound of his voice. Everything is bad from your body. And so then he keeps talking. He was like, "Oi, could you please take a swipe to my knob?" And then he's like, <laughs> "Josh, he's like, he's like, come over to my garage and rub some margarine on me knob." <laughs> Oi, could I please put the knob in your garage? I want to sweep your chimney! By the way, I don't know if it's been addressed yet, but Dick Van Dyke was 100% a homosexual. I mean, with him, I, I just... Yeah. <laughs> Dick Van Dyke was the second celebrity to get AIDS, right after Shaq and Chamomile O'Neal. Actually, the first was Rock Hudson. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> Wait, really? Rock Hudson was, like, the first, like, big name, like, person to die from AIDS. Well, die from AIDS, not the first person to get AIDS. Well, Don't you I know mean, that, okay, Dick Van Dyke most certainly started the gay plague. I... I don't think so. <laughs> He's like, Oi! I want to control the population! How should I do this? Oi! I'll get rid of the degenerates! Okay. <laughs> I think there's a point where there's a line in the sand that was drawn. <laughs> I don't know if it was drawn by the Van Dyke himself, but... Well, it's not my fault that he, Dick Van Dyke was for population control. Oh my god, this motherfucker. Oh my god, can you...